My main message here is prep, prep, prep. Quite often, we're just too busy, right? And I'll show you just a really healthy, easy, quick recipe. Look how good that's looking. Mm. Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is a paleo video and it's it's really um sort of a last minute.com video because um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays I work with my filmmaker, filmmaker and editor. Hold on. Meep. There she is, Nina. And of course, I make lunch every day. And so today I thought, come with me and I'll show you just a really healthy, easy, quick recipe. So today I'm cooking, I'm cooking sea bass for moi. Nina is vegan. I have these wonderful meatless farm. They're plant-based sausages, they're vegan, they're gluten-free and they're high in protein. So I'll show you how I prepare my fish, what greens I throw in, and how quick and easy it is. So this is how all the food is uh, stored in the fridge. And let me just go through what we are throwing in today. We're going to do green beans, bok choy, zucchini, broccoli, kale, throw in some red peppers. We've got onion, garlic, ginger, uh, vegan sausages for Nina and this organic cauliflower rice. So for the fish all I've done is I've squeezed some lemon over it, rubbed that lemon through, put some fresh ginger on and then of course the coconut aminos uh, which you might have seen me using quite a bit with my paleo cooking. And I'm just going to let that sit. Vegan sausages are uh, in the oven as I mentioned, it's all about prep. You've seen how we prep everything. This is on a Monday, getting everything ready. I'm going to put in, in order of what's sort of going to take the longest to cook. So I'm going to throw in some broccoli, onions, and the garlic. I just want to brown them really lightly. And then I'll do the zucchini or courgette, depending what country you are living in. Uh, and then the beans, the bok choy, the kale. So it all starts to go green, a nicer shade of green. And that's when I know when I can add the uh, other vegetables in there. Flash of colour. The kale, I want to just keep breaking all that kale up. Everything is washed and already prepped, remember? Really want the kale to soften because it's very hard to digest otherwise. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of the cauliflower rice. I love making my own cauliflower rice. You can see that on my YouTube channel as well. But quite often, we're just too busy, right? So I found this, which is fantastic. It's organic, it's frozen, so it can go straight in from the freezer and it's still got all its nutrients in it. If you are new on this whole paleo journey, I cannot stress enough how important prep is. You'll see like even my how to prep lettuce so important that you get it in there because that's your bread. If you are trying to change your lifestyle into a paleo way of life, it's very easy to fall into bad habits if you haven't prepped. So you've just seen how quick that was. A handful of this, this and that. Look how good that's looking. Mm. And that's, it's so quick. I'm going to do fish with it. You can do steak, you can do chicken. Keep it simple. You could smell it, it smells so good. So my main message here is prep, prep, prep. And especially if you're on a weight loss journey, if nothing's prepped and you're starving and you, you, you wait until you're absolutely starving, which you shouldn't do because you'll wanna absolutely decimate everything in the house, you uh, make sure you eat little and often. But if you are on a weight, weight loss journey, you need to have things like this ready so you don't fall into, again, old habits or bad habits. Okay, oh, I'm just gonna cook the fish now. To cook the fish, I've used a teaspoon of coconut oil. And um, for me personally, I'm going to cook it on the skin side and then flip it and take the skin off. I'm not a fan of skin, but most people, a lot of people love it and think it gives it a lot more flavor. So um, you can have a look at that and see how I cook it. A teaspoon of coconut oil. Mm. Splash, splash, splash. 
left our rice is all nicely cooked there and that's my fish well that's it just one easy paleo lunch recipe of course it's not a meme or tv video unless i try what i've cooked <laughs> right the fish mm. Mm. the ginger the coconut aminos the lemon and then just my mixed vegetable stir fry Ooh, ooh. Mm. You want to make sure that you don't overcook the vegetables so they've still got that crunch. One thing I didn't do because I didn't think it needed it, but you can also add the coconut aminos to the vegetables. Um, but I also love it just with the coconut oil. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. And I'm not vegan, but I'm curious. So I'm gonna just take a little bite of the Meatless Farm vegan sausage. Mm. It's not bad, but I really wanna know what exactly is in it. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. And more importantly, please subscribe, follow my channel. I make lots of um, other videos on beauty, lifestyle, fitness, and of course, paleo. Meow! Come here. Oh, kiss my cat. Thumbs up. <laughs>